In this video, let's take a moment to think about equivalent linear equations and equivalent linear systems. Equivalent linear equations are equations that have the exact same graph. So you can have two equations that are seemingly not identical in how they look, but are exactly the same when you simplify them down to their bare bones. Let's dive right into it by taking a look at these two equations right here. Now, are these the same? Well, let's simplify it and then isolate the y variable to see if the equations are actually the same. The first equation is already isolated with the y variable on the left side. The second equation, however, isn't. So let's play with it. Let's add 6x and 4 onto both sides of the equation to get the following. All we have to do now is divide both sides by 2, which gives us y equals 6x divided by 2 plus 4 divided by 2, which simplifies down to y equals 3x plus 2. So look at that. These were actually two equivalent linear equations all along. Now, we've been talking purely about equivalent linear equations. The idea of equivalent linear systems, however, is a whole different idea altogether. Equivalent linear systems have the same solution set. We'll do another example to make things a little more clear. So, imagine two sets of two lines. Let's call the first set A and the second set B. If the two lines in A intersect at the same point as the point where the two lines for B intersect, then we can say that the linear systems are equivalent. Note that we said linear systems and not necessarily the equations. Now, I have a question for you. Are the lines of set A the same as the lines of set B? Well, obviously not. They've got a different slope, and on top of that, they've got different y-intercepts. If they're not the same lines, then the equations are not equivalent. But to say that the linear systems are equivalent would be completely fine, since it is referring to the idea that the two sets of lines are sharing the same point of intersection as their solutions. So that's it for equivalent linear equations and equivalent linear systems. Be sure to practice a few examples to solidify the concepts that we have learned. And of course, we will see you in the next lesson.